Hey guys, welcome to the second video of becoming a better dev. This time we're gonna be checking out an article on how to create the perfect UI and UX for your website. So, want to create the perfect UI and UX for your website? Look no further. In this post I will discuss 13 proven blah blah blah. Perfect. Let's go right into it. Know your audience. When you start improving your site's UI and UX, ask yourself, who is your user? Yes, it's the first and foremost important thing you should know before enhancing UI and UX. As a UI and UX designer, knowing your customer and creating a user persona for your online products should be the underlying base to begin your design work. And yeah, I can agree with this because uh, so many times I see maybe websites or, you know, shops or anything that, you know, I love animations and I love all this stuff. But if you are selling, I don't know, computers or technical stuff, like most technical people don't really care that much about animations. They just want a proper product page and they want to see exactly what's happening you can consider a few things while knowing your users you can go through deep research about the features that can work to guide the visitors through their goals cut off the unnecessarily ui elements a perfect user interface should be clean simple uncluttered and free from unnecessary elements yeah yeah, spacing pretty much having just space between elements is the number one most important thing. Even if the content is shit, if there's space between it, it's gonna be all right. According to Hicks law in web design principle, cutting off unnecessarily UI components from your websites fastens the user actions process. Yeah, of course, because if you want a user to buy something and you give him like a hundred options, add to cart, add to favorite, add to this, add to that, add to that. Just give him the option to buy. Just buy now. Don't make the, or at least don't make that the last option. The fewer options they will see on a side, the faster it, it will help them. The faster it will help them to find which option would be the best. <clears throat> And this is why the minimalist design trend has been so popular in past years. Keep navigation easier. As a UI designer, you must create an intuitive user interface that will help people visualize what action they should take to reach their goals. Beforehand, a UX designer should make a design that can make navigation through their goals easily accessible. When UI and UX design of a website would be easy to navigate, it will engage the users for a longer time to achieve their goals. Yeah, and I think for this I always have one simple question. If I give my mom the website, will she be able to use it? If the answer is no, then something is wrong. When you visual hierarchy and ui pattern matters do you look at all the elements of a website when you visit it or do you just scan through it until you get to your desired goals visual hierarchy is a principle of organizing a website's element in order of importance ui and ux designers structure their website element in a pattern and guide visitors through their desired needs There are many ways to use visual hierarchy in a UI and UX design, such as size, color, alignment, aligning website contents and elements makes a website more scannable, proximity, things are kept together, believed as relevant or connected, typography, font style, y, uh, way and size add a new addition to visual hierarchy in the design. And I think with uh, these colors, uh, for example, many people 
do the a bigger font style you know to uh, enhance something I'd rather keep the same font size but give it a different color so if my hero section title is black I'd give a dark gray to the actual content and keep the same font size additionally user interface design patterns are reusable design elements that UI designers use to solve common problems, common design problems. And there are bundles, bundles of spaces to use UI design patterns such as breadcrumbs, cards, pricing tables, homepage links, or a hamburger icon. Tips. Add contrast to your website UI using colors. Utilize size to reduce or increase the visibility of design elements. Organize the most important contents in an F or Z shape pattern. Using F shape is commonly used in text heavy design. Besides Z is used on minimal text pages. Okay. Utilize white space. White space in design is not something about a white color background. White space refers to the blank spaces between texts, images, blocks, graphics, and other elements. It is popularly known as negative space in design as well. White space provides web pages with a space to breathe. It also increases a site's usability by arranging content in a design process and helps UX designers to organize their content to create a standard visual hierarchy. Keep consistent flow on user journey. Imagine you are visiting a website that has clashing color scheme between its elements. Or think about a website whose contents have no visual communication with its different pages typographies. Would you feel comfortable enough to stay on the site or feel comfortable to trust that brand? So this is what happens to me when I visit a dropshipping site. Every single one of them looks the same. So every single product page is the same pattern. So you have the image on the right or on the left. It doesn't really matter. And then you have the sizes, the blah, blah, blah. Uh, you have the price and all the details. And then you have that uh, little, you know, like Visa, MasterCard and accepted stupid ass image there. And whenever I see that, immediately I jump out. Whenever I see that thing, I know, okay, so it's AliExpress, I don't have to buy it from them, there, I just buy it from me. Alright, keep consistent flow in a design structure is the key to creating perfect UI and UX for your website or app. A clear and engaging website layout helps a visitor find their needs in a seamless way. And it benefits your business by collecting more leads and increasing conversion faster. Plan website content carefully. According to GoodFirm, 34% of users leave a website due to its poor content structure. Gaining a successful user experience design requires careful planning of its content. Otherwise, poor planning can confuse both the navigation process and disrupt the quality of the product. How to plan your website content efficiently. Here are some ideas. Start with a research plan for your content. Define your content strategy. Identify your content model. Maintain content search engine optimization. Utilize prototyping to see how your content performs. For prototyping, you can use some work on improvement and then finalizing your product. Familiarity among different elements. The concept of familiarity in different elements through the user's interface helps users find what they seek. You should maintain a consistency in alignment, color schema and style of a website's features. It works to make the user path flexible and increases user engagement. Conversely, while designing a product, think about other similar products on the market. Keep your website layout familiar with standard design structure so users can get an intuitive feel. Yeah, so uh, 
especially if 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 you're doing a website that's selling stuff or you know marketing to the public so if you are a designer and you are developer and making your portfolio yeah like go crazy with it show off your skills but if you want to actually convert users you need to give them you know what they know this is this is the primarily a reason of familiarity look at amazon so their ui is pretty shitty but if you want to buy something it's easy to get where you want to get <laughs> make device responsive design 50 percent of people stop using a website that is not mobile devices friendly even if they like the online presence Okay, to be honest, we're in 2024. So if your your website is not responsive, like what what are you doing? Honestly, if it's a dashboard app, then yeah. But if it's a website, doesn't matter what website, make it responsive. Ask for customer feedback. Is it effective to ask your customers for their feedback? The founder of Microsoft Corporation, Bill Gates, once said, we all need people who give us feedback. That's how we improve. So don't hesitate or compromise to ask your customer for their feedback. It will help you determine how users are finding your website. In addition, you can ask for feedback in many ways. And uh, talking about feedback, let me know what else would you like to hear about, read about, talk about, do a video about. Uh, if you like the content, if you don't like the com uh, content, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a subscribe. Add testimonials. You can design a smoother user experience by adding testimonials to your site. Testimonials help improve user experience in many ways. It builds trust in your website as they are not biased copies from the company but words from random users creates bonding with the visitors as they read others feedback and relate it to their own situation influence your potential customers to take action visitors read testimonials and try to judge your brand if they find it positive and trustworthy they tend to take positive or negative action from the site you can easily include pre-made testimonial blocks on your website's layout if you are building a website with doric okay i don't know what doric is don't forget to test well all we discussed about making a perfect UI and UX for your website has been things we can add. Now we know what to implement on a website to make it an effective user interface and experience. It's time to test the design. It is one of the renowned crucial processes of design thinking. Let's see how testing helps UX designers. It helps you understand whether your solutions are solving the user's issues. It allows us to find the best performing design copy from the guesswork. You can determine which UI element is working the best. It allows you to gather facts about your design quality, allows to improve user experience. It helps you, to, it helps you continue to create user-focused products by doing iterative design. And now, finally, update consistently. The work is consistently changing, and so do UI and UX designs are. There are bundles of design techniques, methods, and ideas centering the design world. And updating a website's design is becoming make or break to keep pace with new technological implementation. Well, it can, when it comes to staying updated about the latest web design trends, you can maintain several short, shortcuts like reading design-related blogs, joining workshops, staying connected with the design community, and more. How to measure UI and UX performance in your website. You are implementing the best design tricks to improve your design's user interface and experience. But how would you measure the performance of your UX UI design? Surveys, analytics, quantitative usability testing, and customer support. I think analytics are really really cool i had a small shop as well and when i added analytics on it uh, it was eye-opening because i saw the exact moment and on the exact page that user uh, users dropped out 
So I tested it myself and I saw the page looked a bit dodgy. You know, it didn't really inspire trust. And then I reworked the design and uh, the conversion rate uh, got better. So let's discuss some user experience design performance metrics. So clicks, page views, screen views, average time spent on a website indicates user engagement. User retention metrics help to measure how many returning users you are receiving. Usability testings allow you to understand how much easier users are finding the questions. So what are the components of UX? So there are seven components, usefulness, accessibility, credibility, des desirability, usability, findability, and value. So out of all of this, I think credibility and user usability, they're one of the most important and accessibility, it's actually legally binding to have. So it's not... Uh, something that you can play around with what are the golden rules for ui priorities consistency and usability create a comfortable and transparent interaction refrain for from overwhelming your audiences prevent errors as much as you can and this is how doric probably doric is a thingy Final thoughts, the essential techniques to enhance your website design is always keeping your user's prospect in mind. Besides the tricks and tips I shared in this blog are tested by expert UI and UX designers worldwide. Ask yourself, how would you like to access the features if you are the user? And you will see all the optic obstacles to creating a better design will be gone. Now, the path is clear for you. Make a website design and start creating the perfect UI and UX for your website. All right, this was the article. Hope you had fun and I'll see you in the next one.